In this episode, we will talk about the solution to the problem of dark energy, the most important problem in cosmology. So, let's enjoy it. The first question which comes to the mind to any student is, what is dark energy? Dark energy is the vacuum energy. In fact, the vacuum is permanently creating and destroying particles. When a part of particles are generated in the vacuum, they have a limit amount of time for living. This time is inversely proportional to their mass. Yes, the vacuum has energy, but what are the effects of the vacuum energy? After rigorous investigation, it was concluded that the vacuum generates a negative pressure accelerating the expansion of the universe. What is truly remarkable and impressive is that dark energy or vacuum energy emerges naturally from the quantization process in quantum field theory. It emerges from the zero point quantum fluctuations. The algebra in this quantization process emerges from the same algebra of the quantum harmonic oscillator where there is also a non-zero energy for the ground state. However, in quantum field theory, since normally we deal with electrodynamics, we ignore this vacuum energy. The existence of the vacuum energy has been proved experimentally. The Casimir effect is the experimental evidence of this fact. When you put two parallel plates together, in absolute vacuum, they perceive a force between each other. This force is reproduced by the vacuum energy. Also, we can ignore the vacuum energy in the calculations of quantum field theory involving electrodynamics and other interactions. We cannot ignore vacuum energy in gravity. The reason is the equivalent mass energy. The energy is also a source of gravity. In other words, energy also gravitates. Then, in this sense, vacuum energy is an important component in gravity. But then, how can we calculate the vacuum energy? Vacuum energy emerges naturally from the zero point or from the ground state of the quantum harmonic oscillator. The reason for this is that in the quantization process in quantum field theory for the quantum fields, we use exactly the same algebra of the quantum harmonic oscillator. If we soon or integrate all the frequency modes over the vacuum energy, then we get the final result. Inside the Einstein equations, the vacuum energy density emerges as a positive cosmological constant generated the accelerated expansion of the universe. Let's revise a little bit the history of the cosmological constant. Einstein initially introduced a negative cosmological constant for keeping the universe static. Einstein, of course, believed that the universe was static and that's why he introduced the negative cosmological constant. However, Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe expands. Then Einstein deleted the cosmological constant from the equations. The situation was even deeper. In 1998, it was discovered that the universe not only expands, but it also makes it faster and faster, the universe expanding in an accelerated way. And the cosmological constant was introduced again, but this time with a positive value. Vacuum energy density represented by the cosmological constant and calculated as it has been before, integrating over all the possible frequency modes, reproduces the wrong result which is 120 orders of magnitude larger than what is normally observed. This comes out after imposing an ultraviolet cutoff. Well, then, how to solve this discrepancy between the theoretical value 
and the experimental observations. If we are good observers, we could perceive that the calculation of the vacuum energy density corresponds to the triple integration over two angles plus the frequency. In the standard calculations, the integration over the two angles gives us the standard solid angle for pi. In a recent paper accepted for publication in a referee journal, the solution to the problem of dark energy was found. It was found that after a coordinate transformation, it is possible to concentrate of the cosmological constant effects over the angular components. In such a case, after imposing the symmetry, a natural constraint over the asymmetal angle emerges. The constraint over the azimuthal angle suggests that the short wavelength modes cannot cover the whole angle, while the long wavelength modes certainly can. This certainly suppresses several modes over the calculation. More specifically, there is a maximum azimuthal angle for each frequency mode. The larger the frequency of the mode, the shorter will be the angle which the mole is able to cover over the integral. Then naturally the integration gets some suppression. But specifically, the maximum azimuthal angle covered by each mole is inversely proportional to its frequency. This makes sense physically. Imagine for a moment a high frequency mode generated by a very heavy pairs of particle antiparticle over the vacuum. In such a case, the time of living for this mode is very short. As a consequence, it will not be able to cover the whole azimuthal angle. Opposite conclusions apply for the long wavelength modes. Then the energy time uncertainty principle is the responsible for the short wavelength modes or high frequency modes not being able to cover the whole azimuthal angle. What is impressive is that by mixing quantum arguments with the standard solution of the De Sitter metric, the constraint emerges naturally. It was there since the beginning inside the metric, but interestingly, nobody noticed it before. The new calculation gives exactly the value which the experiments suggest. In summary, dark energy is just the vacuum energy coming from the zero point quantum fluctuations from the quantization process in quantum field theory for the quantum fields. It appears inside the Einstein equation as a positive cosmological constant. Finally, the solution of the dark energy problem emerges after considering a natural constraint which emerges from the angular component of the metric of the De Sitter space and after considering natural quantum arguments over the vacuum. If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link and subscribe to the channel. More videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us.